G'day, T here from PickingLessons.com. Cherokee Shuffle, this is such a great field of tune, one of my personal favorites. Here in this lesson, we're gonna take a look at a fairly straightforward melodic version of the tune. It's the second variation you'll find at PickingLessons.com. So in a previous lesson, we've worked on this tune and we've played a melodic version, a little bit of a Scruggsy melodic version actually, which is a bit harder than this one. So this is a good entry to the tune or a nice variation to have up your sleeve and, and will be a little bit easier to play. In a moment, we're gonna break down part A of this variation here in this video, but if you head to picklessons.com, you'll grab yourself a copy of the tablature. Also in the member section there, we'll continue to break down part B and you'll find some backing and play along tracks to help you get going with the tune. So firstly, let's have a look at part A. So part A, we'll break that down slowly and then we'll work on the techniques together. One, two, one, two, three, four. <laughs> Okay, so there we have part A. Firstly, we are in uh, the key of A, standard tuning, except we have our capo at fret two and string five needs to be in A. So I've got my fifth string spiked. If you don't have spikes, you can tune it up to an A and that would be okay as well. So what we end up with, with our fifth string spiked at A, capo holding the E, then the A, then the C sharp, and an E. So we're in the key of A, open A tuning. Okay, so let's break down part A. Part A, um, we're gonna count it in four as we learn it, but as you get better at the tune, you'll find that you'll be counting in cut time. Just very quickly, if you don't know the difference, cut time, we feel two half notes per measure, so something like this. So, tapping my foot there every two beats, in four as we learn it slowly, it's gonna be like this. feel every chord note, we're gonna count every chord note as we practice it. So our pickup is on count four as we come in. One, two, three, four. Hammering on there on that open D string to the second fret, you can use your first finger and use your thumb and your right hand. All the fingering, by the way, is in the tablature, so you can keep referencing that. We've got this hammer on, uh, and then we're gonna move into this melodic position straight up. We're gonna move our A, rather than A at fret two, string three, we're gonna move up to fret seven. It just helps to, rather than playing single string like that perhaps, which we could do, uh, it just sort of lets those notes ring over each other and it sounds quite nice. That's the melodic, basically the melodic technique. Uh, so here we go, so measure one. I would not leave that note down. It kind of gets in the way a little bit. So as you play the open uh, third string, fret seven and remove it and then we remove it as we move on again so if you hold it over the top it kind of clashes a little bit so in this example we're just going to move that finger on and off not the end of the world if you don't uh, that's a pretty easy one though so hammer on one two three four index and thumb are being used there in the right hand it's pretty straightforward really uh, this nice little melodic passage you measure too So here, we're gonna use our third finger to our first and left hand, right hand, index, thumb, index, thumb, index. A little bit of single string, and then hammer on with the thumb in the right hand there. Opening passage with the pickup, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Make sure the fingering's okay. Really watch what's happening in measure two with the right hand, but otherwise, that's pretty cool. We'll move on. Uh, measure three. We're running up through the melodic scale here in this position, in this key. So we're up to fret seven. We're gonna use fret five. Right hand, index, index, thumb, index, thumb, middle, thumb. And you can use third and first fingers. That is very much just the root, uh, out of the position of the melodic, um, well, A scale, but if we call it G scale, we're gonna be playing. So it's, it's just because we're capable, we're up in A, but it's a very common, common scale for this melodic technique. Just the 
the major scale in this key. So this is really using that position. There we go, there we have that uh, measure three. Uh, measure four, measure four. We're gonna go to the open position, we're gonna use a hammer on there and we're gonna leave a little bit of space. So hammering on from the open, uh, open first string, open D. And then back to that open string there. So we can use our middle and thumb. A lot of middle finger there. Uh, back into this melodic position, fret five, but use finger two actually. So fret five. Just running through that melodic scale there. Notice my second and my second and first fingers are what I'm using. A lot of thumb, 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 middle, thumb, middle, thumb. So fingering the tab again, but really important. If you can get the thumb movement right in this melodic technique, it really makes it much easier. Uh, measure six. Uh, here we need to play a roll. So we've got thumb, index, middle. Then we can start to use our thumb again, really dominant, in a really dominant way. So rolling. Thumb, index, thumb, index. Measure five and six, if we were to put them together, one, two, and three, four, one, two, three, four. Good two measures to practice. Just getting comfortable with the movement of the left hand and what our right hand fingers are doing, that's really important. Uh, this lick at the end. turn around to get us back to the beginning. So the open Ds, holding that note there for a quarter note. So uh, this is syncopated, we're playing on those off, offbeat notes there. One and two and three and four, one. Measure eight, we have a nice little roll to get us back to that pickup, which will lead us back into the repeat. Fingering in the right hand is really important. Fingering position in your left hand because we're playing this melodic style is important too. So do keep an eye on what's happening there and get familiar with the positions and familiar with what the thumb's doing. The thumb's really dominant in this melodic technique. Um, so, so do break it down and get to know part A there. That's gonna help you play part B. Part B, we're using a lot more of this melodic position at fret seven and five, that major scale there. Uh, but it's busier, there's more sort of going on and there's actually a little bit more moving up the neck as well. So we'll break that down at pickandlessons.com together in the member section, but you can go over and grab yourself a copy of the tablature uh, and, and, and get going with that. So pickandlessons.com, I'll see you there.